Hello YouTube. In light of all the uh, setup videos, I guess I'll show you my server setup as well. First we'll start with the one that's connected to the main router, which is this, this Dell Dimension C521. This has an 80 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive in it, which came with it new, or well refurbished actually. This whole machine was refurbished. I got it off eBay years ago, and it's been a very reliable and great machine to have around. Um, <clears throat> this server is running Debian testing, which right now is Debian 7, and that, that for the operating system, and Debian is a distribution of Linux that I highly recommend to anybody who wants to run a server because it's just rock-solid stable. Um, Ubuntu is based upon Debian as well, so it, it'd be so the package management is quite familiar to someone who's quite familiar with Ubuntu. Um, this server runs a Minecraft server, a TeamSpeak 3 server, and it also runs Folding at Home, just so that the processor is being used while it's on. And there you have it. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM in it, too, so that it, uh, I could run multiple Minecraft servers if I needed to. Uh, it has an AMD Sempron 3800+. Which is a two gigahertz uh, single core Sempron. It's not the best processor in the world. It desperately needs to be upgraded, but you know what? It works. It runs a Minecraft server no problem. It runs. It runs. Um, um, a Teamspeak three server no problem, and it also I, I contribute some of my uh, processor to a folding at home, which is not much, but it's still a little bit. So there you have it. This is for those of you who've been in my team speaking Minecraft server. This is what the server is. Is this thing? And of course, the only thing connected to it is a power cable and an Ethernet cable. That's the way to do it. All right. So we move back to the workshop again, where I have my other server, my file server. This server has four one terabyte hard drives in it. Three of them are Western Digital's, and one of them is a Hitachi. It also has a fifth hard drive, which is an old 2003 40-gigabyte IDE Western Digital Drive. I use that as the boot drive. This system is also running Debian testing. This is this The board in this computer was featured in a previous video, which is uh, my getting start, which is uh, setting up a server part one getting started. It is an Atom, uh, it's an Atom uh, D525 motherboard with, with uh, a bunch of SATA ports on it and the main reason I got that board is because it has IDE which allows me to use both the 40 gigabyte hard drive and this Pioneer DVD drive here in case I need to reinstall the operating system now the case the server is in is complete garbage it's in like a it was like a 20 or 30 dollar Apex case I got somewhere and the metal is very thin uh, a lot of the screw holes are stripped out it, it, it desperately needs to be replaced but Hopefully that will happen soon. <clears throat> um, but yeah, this thing, this one's also running Debian testing. Um, <clears throat> I, how I manage my files is via SFTP, which uses SSH for the FTP protocol. Oh, look at that! The hard drive got access there. Um, this thing pretty much sits here and just runs. <laughs> I barely have to do anything to it except update it every once in a while. Uh, this this thing this server used to run the Minecraft server and the counter, and a Counter Strike server as well, but I've changed this this particular server so that it's just a file server and that's it. It also I also run folding at home on it as well, just because I don't like to see, have the processor sitting that this thing sitting here on doing nothing. So folding at home. Uh, contributes some processing power to Alzheimer's disease, just as the Dell C521 does. What's plugged into the back of this machine is also a power cord and an Ethernet cable. That, that's it. That's all you need for a server, man. Just that. And that is my server setup. Of course, that server is also plugged into this wirelessly bridged router, so of course accessing files isn't the fastest it could be, but this is the most convenient place to put that computer so it works for me. I mean, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. So there you have it. 
So, that's what my server setup is, in case you guys were curious. And, uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.